everyone, this is Sabina from Origami, and in the next few minutes, we'll take a blank SharePoint page and turn it into a fresh and easy to use homepage. To do that, I'll be using Origami web parts already set up in my SharePoint. If you don't have Origami tools, I included the link to how to get them in a video description below. All right, let's get started. Here's the page we'll have by the end of this video. It's got this beautiful banner, which also shows company news. Below it, quick links for easy access to frequently used applications, searchable resource library, employee social, and finally, if you use and resource sites to help employees find answers instead of sending an email. We'll start out by adding this beautiful welcome banner that will greet each employee by their name and show them the latest company announcements. Let's add the greeting title, the message, and an image with the link to the news. And just like that, we're already off to a good start. I'll make this banner a bit smaller, hide the dark tint, and disable the links panel below so I can use the different style of links later. Great! Now let's give employees quick access to commonly used resources. For that, I'll add Origami Quick Links app that will have branded buttons with beautiful icons. These buttons will lead to project sites employee benefits, IT help desk, people directory, and whatever else you need. We want these buttons to be bigger and have the same dark blue shade as the top banner. So let's change these things here. Next, we want to have an area for micro announcements, new employee welcomes and recognitions. For this, we'll use a social corner app that, in a nutshell, is like a bulletin board. Employees can leave comments under each announcement, and these comments can be easily moderated. Every time someone posts here, the resulting page lives in the SharePoint list, so it's easy to moderate comments and archive older posts right from the list. All right. Now let's make it easy for employees to find forms, templates, links to policies and procedures. We'll add an origami finder app that will display a selected document library with my branded colors. If we want to add more files or links to this directory, we can go to site contents, click the name of my library and select the folder where we want to add our new files. The forms you see here are the same as you can see on my SharePoint page. So updating this forms directory is super simple. Now we want to make this folders match my company branding. I'll go ahead and quickly update them here. Click save and so far the directory is looking great. Next, let's add a place to promote more company news. For that, I'll add SharePoint out of the box news web part that automatically pulls out recent news articles from my SharePoint site. You can also change the order of this news, hide the number of views, author, date of for the publishing, and so on. One thing that will make this page more interactive is giving employees a way to respond to a poll or a survey. I'll use Origami Poll app to add a question about office reopening I created earlier. Once employees complete this poll, they will see what others have responded to. This simple app can be a great way for leaders to collect feedback and make informed company decisions. Now, what if my company is hiring lots of people and they have questions they ask HR again and again? This is when this FAQ section comes in handy. With the Origami FAQ app, I can easily add all of those questions and answers right to my page for quicker access. All right, let's wrap up this page with the buttons leading employees to other areas on the internet. For that, I'll add images linking to payroll, onboarding, and benefits pages, and use an image rounding app to make them look like buttons.
Now we are ready to publish. And there you have it, a clean and modern SharePoint page that looks fresh and easy to use.